This is the day the Lord has made. I pray that you are glad and that you're rejoicing because today is the only time you will ever live in this moment. That's right. The moment which you and I are currently living in is the only time that we will ever live in it. And it's so important. It's so vital that we make the most of it. I want to share with you a scripture out of Ecclesiastes chapter nine. It says, whatever presents itself for you to do, do it with all your might. That's right. Whatever it is that God has entrusted you with today, because he believes in you. Do it with all your might. Do it with zeal. Do it with passion. That's right. Do it with excitement and commitment. Do it with all the fiber in your being. That's right. So that you are doing it heartily, wholeheartedly unto the Lord and not as unto men or women or management or supervisors. But you're doing it because God has entrusted it to you and you alone. Of all the billions of people on planet Earth today, God chose you for this particular assignment. Why? Because he knows what's on the inside of you and he wants to show you what's really in you. You know, the depth of your being goes beyond what the eyes can see. That's right. The physical appearance is just a small portrait of who you really are. You and I are created in the image and likeness of almighty God. That's right. We're created after the spirit of God. The spirit of God is infinite. That's right. There's no limitations on the spirit of God. Therefore, your life, my life can be limitless if we tap into the realm of the spirit and access our full potential and access our purpose. That's right. Our identity and our place of purpose is found within us, not outside of us. So often we err in life by constantly looking outwardly. But everything that God has equipped and enabled us with resides on the inside of us. Our gifts, our talents, our calling, our destiny. That can all be accessed from within. That's right. That's why it's so important that you maximize today. Why? Because as you maximize today, you maximize your purpose. You maximize your potential. You maximize your what? Gift. That's right. And the Bible assures you that your gift will make room for you. If you're tired of being tired of being where you are, begin to believe in you and the presence of God in you. The Bible tells us the greater one lives on what? The inside. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That's right. You are more than a conqueror. You are truly the head and not the tail above and not beneath. The Bible says that you and I are what? Blessed. We've been enabled and equipped. That's right. To be creators, to be producers. We're innovators by definition because the spirit of God is the spirit of innovation. And God placed you and I here in this hour, in this time, in this generation, that we would create something, that we would produce something, that we would provide a service. That's right. That we would write a book, write a movie, write a play. That's right. That we would create a new invention. We would bring a new concept to market. Why? So we can be a blessing. And as we're a blessing to others through our obedience to the plan and the purpose and the will of God, guess what? We too are blessed. Many people, as I mentioned in a previous video, are sitting around saying, Lord, Lord, I need money. Money isn't the answer. Some of you are sitting there like, huh? Money isn't my answer. Money will help you, but the true essence of your answer, your solution resides on the inside of you. So often we look for a quick fix for a long term problem. That's right. We need the search within to access the solution that will not be short term, but will be what long term term. Why? So we're not repeating the same cycles of life. We're not constantly repeating the same situations and circumstances. 
The rich and the poor have both the same thing. God gave the rich and the poor the exact same thing. What is it? Time. That's right. No matter where you are economically, God has given you time. That's right. Now, money is only a reflection of how we spend our time. No one has more than 24 hours in a day, but it's how we utilize or capitalize upon those 24 hours that determine if we're creators or consumers, if we're being productive or unproductive, if we're maximizing our potential or are we squandering what God has given us, this gift of life. That's right. What we do with our time shows if we're grateful or if we're squandering this gift which God has given unto each of us. As we create, we do what? We provide a sense of accomplishment in our lives. As we create, there's a sense of what? Achievement and pride. Why? Because we chose to utilize our time in a very productive manner that didn't just benefit me, myself, and I, but it was what? Beneficial to others. And as we benefit others, this is a funny thing. Listen to this. As we benefit others, we benefit ourselves. That's right. You know, as we create, we provide the evidence. That's right. That we're providing something beyond our own needs. And as we are providing something beyond our own needs, God's hand gets involved and says, oh, I like what you're doing. This is it. Be a blessing to others. Let your light shine. That's right. And what happens is God puts his hand on it and he amplifies it. He magnifies it. He multiplies it. He takes the limits off of it. And he shows you and I that with him, all things are truly possible. Nothing's too hard when we work with God. That's right. You know, many people have chosen to squander the gift of life. I myself were there at one point. Why? Because of a lack of knowledge, because of a lack of understanding, because there was a lack of vision in my life. That's right. And where there's no vision, the people will perish. I was perishing because of a lack of understanding. And I didn't even know I was perishing because I was mentally and emotionally and physically what? Conditioned to a constant state of what? Perishing. A constant state of what? Living on the decline. But when my thinking changed, I went from living on the decline Things stop and I begin to uh, live in the upswing. But it all begins with a change of thought and perception of who we are and who God is in us and why we're here. That's right. We put too much emphasis on just living a life of barely getting by and not living a wishes fulfilled life or life on purpose. That's right. See, the problem with just being a consumer is that you're showing constantly that you're squandering time. That's right. Just being a consumer only is the evidence that one lacks understanding of the value of their time on earth. That's right. Make the most out of your life by living your full potential every day. Maximize the moments, maximize the situations, the circumstances, maximize everything that is placed before you. The Bible tells us something funny. Rejoice at all times At all times. Discover God in this situation at all times. See the positive at all times. See the learning that can take place from this moment. And how that learning will what? Strengthen you, build you up. And how it will, how do you say it? Uh, uh, refine your character and how it will strengthen your faith.
That's right. Maximize your gifts, talents, and abilities which God has given you. Why? Because you are blessed and highly favored. You are made after the image and likeness of Almighty God. You are a true creator. You are an innovator. It's time to create. May the Lord bless you more and more. May you tap into the fullness of your potential and innovate. There are divine ideas within you that God wants to reveal in the earth. Until next time, this is T.D. Brewer.